Welcome back to Calypso Moon. Welcome in if you're new. Last but not least, Taurus, we're doing your reading. The way these uh, readings came out, it was crazy. They were coming out two earth signs, two air signs, two water signs, back to back. Okay, so we got Apple bird perch so you could be waiting for news or a package or a letter apple there could be temptation will test you what else september something could be going on in september june something could be happening in june we're gonna clarify these we got march dang Table, hard work ahead. I'm going to leave it there. We got career. So, yeah. Somebody could be working hard on their career right now. Okay. So, this closed out. So, I'm only picking from this stack. Says Spirit. If you guys never watched my readings before, anytime my deck closes itself where both ends are like this, I'm not supposed to pull from it. So, the messages are over from that part. Ooh, did y'all just see that? That was crazy. That right here? Uh-huh. Okay, so this came out for the last three signs, crown games. Aries, Capricorn, and now you guys. <clears throat> Taurus, I'm getting you could want to be a you could be wanting to be around family and friends right now. You could be wanting to be out in the community. I'm feeling like somebody might be lonely here. I'm also getting there could be like a, a death in the family or of a close friend. We got sky writing, the fates. Uh We got heart, home, compassion, crown games, right use of power. One, let's get two more. Dust devil, moving out of stagnation. So something could be happening pretty quickly. This could have to do with some type of uh, news or package that you're expecting. You got a lot of mm, timing cards here. You could also be moving away from uh, temptation here too. Okay, and then we got Feast of Plenty. Choices and their consequences. So yeah, if you're being tested, be careful because uh, all your choices have consequences. Winter's Dream Gestation. And I'm going to reflip this back over and put this here. All right. We're going to clarify with the Tarot of Dreams. I really want to say uh, thank you. I am grateful to you guys. For all your watching, watching, views, I mean, watchings, <laughs> all your views, your likes, your subscriptions. I am grateful we are growing slowly here, so I am very humbly grateful for that. What is this bird perch for a tourist spirit? Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I forgot to like my sage, y'all. I'm tripping. got me stray tripping boo this is for my protection as well as yours it's also to clear the energy of the cards it doesn't change the meaning of the cards it doesn't change you know what's already been put down here it just helps me allow me to see the cards like really see them with my third eye and protection mode so spirit guides benevolent ancestors please protect me as i intermingle in these energies allow me to see and say what i need to for the highest good of taurus 
guide me for the highest message possible. Protect me, allow me to observe, not absorb. All right, what is this bird perched for Taurus spirit? What is this news or message coming in? We have the Ace of Pentacles. So you could be getting some news or message about money coming in. This could have to do with your career, your job. Um, and it could be coming in September, June, or March. You could be getting a raise. There could be some type of raise or you could have put in for a raise and you're waiting to hear back to see if you're going to get it. What is this Apple Temptation? Judgment. Okay, so... You could be tempted to reignite something with somebody or to um, get back together with somebody or to do something you've already done before that might not have turned out so well. You could be tempted to do this. You would be a fool if you do. So yeah, you're trying to start something new here. Start something over, I feel like, with judgment and the fool. This could be a relationship. But I'm getting like you're not supposed to. And what, what's meant for you is meant for you. I'm getting some devil energy here. Hold on, y'all. My son is over here straight tripping, boo. He's straight tripping, boo. And I... All right, show me what's happening in September for Taurus. Sorry about that, y'all. This kid, he never stopped yelling. I guess he doesn't realize how loud he is. We just got to <laughs> bear with it. Bear with it. Okay, we got harvest time. And September is harvest time. So we got the seven of uh, pentacles here. So you could be, um, something could be coming in for you that you worked really hard for in September. Ooh, with the seven of swords at the bottom. Maybe you were saving up for something and then in September you're going to have the money for it. Finally. Show me June. What's happening in June? Yeah, this is what I was getting. And I really don't like to tell nobody no bad news. I really, Especially when it has to do with death. But y'all, this is what I'm getting. There's going to be an ending for somebody in June. Like... Rest in peace. So, uh, take heed. This could be somebody really close to you. And I don't like giving those messages, but I have to say it when I see it. Or else I wouldn't be doing anybody any justice. Oh, wait, I got a card on the floor. Man down, man down. Okay, so I'm getting like something just got too hard for somebody. And it's going to finally be over in June. I, am, I do give you guys my um, condolences for that. That's, ooh. Somebody could have got sick in March or realized they were sick in March. Because look at these flowers. They're like wilted. This could have been March of this year. Or this could be March. Somebody's finding out they're sick. Or this could be next coming March. And this could also be next coming June. Show me March for Taurus. The Magician. The Ace of Swords in Reverse. Yeah, somebody might have not have known something. What is this Magician? We got the Six of Swords. I'm getting like somebody was being manipulative and somebody left. This could just be some... March was like the it's over energy. I'm hearing ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Anytime she goes away. That's a song I'm gonna take somebody to dance with. <laughs> I would sing it, but I can't sing. <laughs> I'm tired of embarrassing myself. <laughs> Show me this table, hard work ahead. All right, we got the um, Nine of Pentacles here. 
Yeah, your hard work ahead is going to be paying off, though. I feel like you're finally getting what you deserve as far as the work you've been putting in and the effort you've been putting into something. You are going to be financially stable from the past work that you've done. All right, let's get away from those tea leaves. What does this gather around the power of community? I'm getting to with this gather around that there could be a lot of people coming in to support you at this time um, through some kind of loss or sadness. Oh my God, I can't make this up, y'all. <sighs> so yeah, somebody's going to be coming around after some type of loss. You could just be needing support too. Maybe it was just the loss of a relationship. Show me this crowd game. But for a lot of you guys, there's going to be a loss of somebody. Like physically leaving this world. Well, not for a lot of you guys. For some of you guys and for others of you guys, it's just the ending to a relationship or friendship or some something like that. Show me this crown game. We got the sun. Okay, so something that somebody was strategizing about or being strategic about planning their moves out is going to turn out in their favor. There will be success here. I feel like somebody's winning or they think they're winning. They're playing a game though. What is this heart, home, compassion? We got the eight of wands. So somebody could be going home, traveling home, going home to console somebody. Traveling for a funeral or a get together. We got the full coming out. Sky writing. There, I'm getting like there was signs that somebody was not paying attention to. Like somebody knew their health was going down. Maybe in March they knew. Maybe this month you're going to know. But they weren't paying attention to it. And it's like you don't see the signs. But somebody was still risking it anyway. What is this dust devil moving out of stagnation? We got the queen of swords. So yeah, there's definitely something coming to an end. Somebody's cutting something off, someone off, something out of their life. That may have been causing some type of confusion and lack of clarity. It's like you're finally getting some type of discernment. Queen of Wands in reverse. All right, what is this Feast of Plenty? No. Seven of Wands. So yeah, whatever you've been working on or work, working towards, um, whatever gains or success that you've made so far, you need to protect it. You need to defend it. Wherever you're at right now, you need to stand up, you know, and I'm getting take care of something. We got the two of wands in reverse. with the nine of wands here too. Yeah, so something is avoidable, I'm getting. All right, Taurus, I'm gonna go ahead and leave your reading there. Um, I wish you guys the best in this situation. Again, if you lost somebody, my condolences. Um, I will see you guys on the next one. Make sure you hit that like button, comment down below if you feel called to. Subscribe if you vibe, join the tribe. I would so humbly appreciate it. Um, help us.
does grow if you haven't yet. Um, and I will see you guys on the next one.